this question you need to understand the question very well first so here it says that the digits 1 to 9 are arranged in three rows in such a way that each row contains three digits so uh, there is three rows right we have like three rows first row second row and third row so here and uh, then each row contains three digits so that's what they, it says and the number formed in the second row is twice the number formed in the first row so here the number here is twice that of the number here so for example if this is 123 then it will be 246 right 246 is 123 into 2 so that's what the question says now then it again says that the number formed in the third row is thrice the number formed in the first row so here the number formed here will be thrice that of the number formed here for example if this is 123 you will get uh, 9 then uh, uh, 6 and 3 so this will be 369 369 is equal to 123 into 3 so that's what the question says and it also says that in the if only three of the four digits two three seven and nine are allowed in the first row so in this first row we can only use two and three seven and nine so how, how many combinations are possible here actually what we have to do is we have to check different combinations so we can in the first row we can only use two three seven and nine right so let's say first row is 237 so what you have to do you have to so second row what the second row will come the second row is 237 into 2 so if you multiply 237 by 2 you will get 474 so if you see here the 7 got repeated it says that repetition of digits is not allowed so this is not a possible combination so in the second case we'll check the sec second number that is 239 so if 239 comes here then we have to multiply 239 with 2 so what it will what will come it will come 478 if you multiply 239 by 3 it will come 717 so here 7 got repeated so this is also not possible now we we can uh, write the next possibility so we'll take 273 okay so we have used 237 first then secondly we have taken 239 now we will use 27 and 3 so like that we are going in that order okay so here we take two we have took 273 so 273 into 2 is 546 then again if you multiply 273 by 3 we will get 890 if you see here we have we haven't repeated any digits right we have used 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so this is a possible combination 273 now now we have to check 279 so if we take 279 we'll get here in the second row 558 so 5 got repeated so this is not a possibility now we need to check 293 if you take that we'll get 586 in the second row and 879 in the third row here 8 got repeated so th this is not a possibility now if you take 297 similarly we'll get 594 in the second row here again 9 got repeated so this is not a possibility now all the numbers starting with 2 is finished now we'll check for 3 if you take 327 you will get 654 in the second row and 981 in the third row so if you see here this is correct because no number has been repeated so this is a possibility now again we if we take 329 we'll get 658 in the second row and 987 in the third row here 8 got repeated so this is not a possibility now we if we take 372 if we multiply 372 by 3 it will come 1116 in the third row so third row got four digits so this is wrong right we it, it says that each uh, row will be containing only 
three digits so this is wrong so all the numbers above 372 if we multiply by 3 it will come a number which is greater than 1000 so all the possibilities above 372 is wrong that is 379 is wrong 397 is also wrong like that so we can stop here so how many possibilities are there 273 is correct and 327 is correct so there is two possibilities so the answer is c 2